All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna get through this uh, Goblin Dave that I played at the weekend qualifier, the qualifier weekend, and I went four and two with. I did not quite make day two, but I tested it the whole week, and I thought that deck was pretty good, so here it is. Uh, what's so special about this deck? There's nothing really special about goblins in general. I mean, they all kind of look the same. However, the Horde Master gives this deck another push to make it kind of good. Uh, without it, it's pretty much all in. You need Krenko or Muxus. And if you don't, you have your shitty goblins that don't do anything and that die to anything. And you lose to Wrath, you lose to Tutsis, you lose to a bunch of stuff. So along with Instigator and Willy Goblin, Willy Goblin uh, the pump effect is really effective. Uh, you can win some matches against control where they just like try to deal with your crappy goblins until you get to the mana to play Muxus or Ringleader. Uh, there are a lot of versions these days that are running black for a month and the sling, sling Gang Lieutenant. I've tried this deck many times and it actually never worked for me. Uh, it plays four fables uh, four of these I think in a couple of months maybe between two and four uh, the reason I don't like this deck is that it's very vulnerable to a bunch of stuff uh, and even when you play Muxus your fail rate is so high that when you play Muxus usually if you hit you win but if you don't hit you just lose so you don't have a second shot I don't like that it's like for example if you Muxus out just a month and the random dude since you have like four fables it's actually more likely to happen and you just lose the game i didn't like that play that that gameplay also months on its own is not very good slinging is okay on its own but when there's nothing on its side it's just it's kind of loose i'd rather play ringleader or krenko krenko is so much better with snoop i don't think they play krenko when they play the lieutenant so playing Snoop into this is not as good as playing Snoop into Krenko. Uh, as for the mana base, uh, I kept I kept 25. I, was, I had 24 for a long time, but I went up to 25 because I kind of wanted to have another another land, another way to deal with Hushbringers and cra cards like that. So I had Blood Crypt for a while because I had Black in my sideboard. Uh, but I did not. I cut them and I was like, okay, well, maybe smashing is just good on turn one to just play as a tap land. Um, we still play black in the sideboard for munition experts and siege and slinging lieutenants. That's why you still play the pathways and you still play the secluded courtyard and unclaimed territory. Uh, you also have Willy Goblin that allow you that uh, Willy Goblins that allow you to get the black mana. So this mana, this mana base is pretty basic. I don't like too many dens. I like two dens. Uh, having too many of them when you're trying to get your th six land is such a liability. Uh, you don't want you don't want too many. I think to like it's so unlikely that you actually attack with it that playing too many is just a, a reliability. Two is fine. More not fine. Uh, I found that ringleader in the current metagame is really really good uh, because you will want to to a refill after wrath or against like decks like black red that just kills your goblins uh, one by one so playing a ringleader into two more dudes or into muxus that just is just one that's just a lot better Uh, as you might have seen in the run in the in the qualifier weekend run that's also uploaded on YouTube uh, the deck can just go off as in as in like you play Muxus or you have a bunch of goblins and you just play until you win you don't need the easy win with a sling gang and month to win on the turn you can just win with like Horde Master and Snoop and Prospector, basically you keep priority uh, 
you're going through your deck, you keep priority, you play instigators, you sack your creatures until you have a, a Krenko on top. Then you activate Snoop, you get a bunch of goblins, and you go, you go through all your deck to basically find enough creatures to win. If you find another Krenko or just hardcast your Krenko, make a bunch of goblins and attack. After board, for example, you can have one slinging goblin, slinging lieutenant. Uh, if, for example, they like have they have fog, they have a fog deck or solemnity or something, you just go through your whole deck and you just sling all your goblins to the face. It happens quite often, actually. You just go off. You don't have like ten goblins or twenty goblins because when you pass the turn, like maybe sometimes twenty goblins is not enough. Like I've played games against elves. We have 20 goblins, you pass the turn, and they go like, oh, all my guys are 5-5, five, five, plus 2, plus 2, death touch, and I have like a million elves, and you still lose. So, did that happen like this? Like, they have, more, oh, behemoth. They have behemoth, and then and then you lose anyway. So, but sometimes 20 goblins is not enough. Here you make an actual 200, 300 goblins in the game, if time allows it, because you're gonna have to be really quick in sacrificing the goblins, like going through the, the steps, like sacrifice, put that on top, like exile your, exile your goblin, you know what you're gonna have on top. So you can like play cards from the top, you can play cards from exile. It's, it's it takes a little bit of, of practice, but it's not that hard. Just be careful because like I had uh, nice opponents in the first two rounds that conceded when I was going off. And they knew that we're not coming back, but there was a real chance I was timing out. Yeah, these two guys are just too good together. So keep that in mind. Uh, what else? What are the other cards? Matron. I did not I had like one or two matrons once in a while, but matron is just another prospector. And you you have so many three and four drops that you don't really like it's only good when you hit it with Muxus. And you don't want more Muxuses. I thought it was the card that I was most likely to cut every time. I was never happy to draw it. I was happy when I revealed it, when but drawing it was pretty bad. Uh, Munition Experts, I think, is fine. I don't like having it in the main because when you go off, having this one on top is a liability because you can't cast it because you only have access to red mana. You have sometimes black mana with Willy Goblin on untap land, but since also you have to play fast. Uh, the auto tapper will always tap these guys, so yeah, you have to be careful when playing it. You have to be careful, but sometimes it just doesn't work, and that that blows. <laughs> uh, so this is for the oh yeah fable. I don't know if I said that already, but you want to keep your uh, your uh, goblin ratio high. Like here we have thirty five goblins. The more fables you play in the main, the less you have less chances you have to hit with these guys and I, I don't I don't think Fable was any good honestly in this deck it's just it, it's just not good it just doesn't work playing your turn 3 for this doesn't solve any problems against most decks against control and against uh, and against black red it's fine otherwise it's just it's just kind of slow so I just keep them in the sideboard against the decks it's actually good against uh, I'd rather have these like I, I'd rather really hit a haste a haste war chief or goblin a uh, chieftain with Maxus to actually win the game on the turn as for the sideboard um so trash master is the nuts against all the affinity decks red white and and blue and blue white uh sometimes you overrun when you're on the draw uh, but once you draw it it's usually good sometimes it's not good enough but it's usually that's your best card it's I think it's much better than Shatterstorm. Some people say, "Oh yeah, but Shatterstorm you win on the spot." That's just not true. Uh, Shatterstorm does not play around later portable holes. It doesn't play around later uh, coffins, not coffins, glass caskets, and you don't get it off Muxus. So and it doesn't pump your team. So this is by this is infinitely better than Shatterstorm. Um, since when you're on the draw, you're a little behind. You want something to get back, get you back into the game. There are options between a braid and a braids like random remo removal, or ancient grudge. 
I don't really like a braid because it's just a one for one and they have lures, they have a bunch of stuff. Maybe like a braid would have actually won me the game, I guess. <laughs> man, that's awkward. But usually, oh man, that is right. A braid would have won me the last game. Shit. Maybe, I mean, actually, I, I was probably just dead anyway. Never mind. Yeah, I was probably dead next turn. Anyway, uh, Ancient Grudge gives you gives you a flashback. You have green mana off the Timber timber Crown pathway and from Willy Goblin. If you can't flashback it, it's still fine. Uh, a Braid is probably better against uh, Grease Fang, but this is the, like, even then, like, they have it or they don't. Like, I think Grease Fang is a pretty shitty deck. I don't want to have one Braid against that deck. Like, when they have the nuts, they kill you. When they don't, I don't think one Braid is going to make that big of a difference. Um, Strangle is good against Blue Red Is it? That's not being played so much. I don't think the deck is very good. It's very good against us, but it's not very good in general. I don't know how to have too many of these. These are fun against elves, against goblins, against very focused creature decks. But otherwise, I don't really want to have too many. And uh, yeah, I used to have yeah Fatal Push is there. But overall, the price for Fatal Push was way too high. Like with the dual lands, like with Sulphur Springs. Uh, with Sulphur Springs and uh, Blood Crypts. That, and it ju doesn't justify playing Black over Strangle. There's a new, yeah, there's a new, like kind of new, is it Wizard with Phoenixes against like you don't want you don't want the the fatal pushes against that anyway so this is i think this is just better Fabu we talked about it chin whirler i'm still not sure about it. it's good against goblins it's good against elves it's good against some version of humans i don't want too many because these decks are usually not a problem so i i'm, I'm happy with one i don't want to have more uh fable we i think we talked about it experts i don't want to have too many maybe that's but that's the card we probably want four off in the sideboard if we have one extra slot. Strength went through. Ringleader is a card you really want against all the control decks. All the decks with sweepers, like red, black, and blue, white. That's the same deck you board in Fables against. Slinging are the decks where you want to finish on the same turn you go off. And when they usually have some ways to, to, uh, like to stop you. Uh, I like it. It's not great, but it's it's a necessary evil not to lose to these shitty white green decks uh, with fogs and with like solemnity and ancient grudge. We talked about it. Overall, I'm happy with the deck I played. I tried a lot of other decks. I didn't like them. Up up. I think it might not be tier one, but I think it's very close to tier one. Uh. Could I have gone all the way, maybe. Could you go all the way, probably. Uh, oh yeah, I don't want to force Muxus. Some play, some decks play four Muxuses. I think it's just too much. You don't like it's already too hard to cast it. When you have it, it's great. But having two, just like it's also a, a, a goblin that you can't. Like when you cast the Muxus, you have thirty. So thirty-five. You have thirty-two hits. And if you have two more, one more Muxus, you have 31 hits. So you have less hits. The more Muxuses you play, the less hits you have. So playing more is not necessarily better. When you stack with two or three in your hand and you can't cast them, that's a disaster. That's about the same thing with Krenko, but Krenko, you actually want to have them on the top of your library, so it's a little different. Uh, and that's about it. Thank you for watching this... Uh, this uh, deck tech. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you another time. Cheerios.